Okay, so today I'm making a crock pot slow cooker lemon butter chicken with a side of Mexican rice and some fresh corn that I threw into the mix. I'm going to carry on the theme of doing this without an oven or stove. Here we go. So I wanna showcase these two comments under a recent video that I did using an electric skillet casserole. And I wanna showcase for those of you that just don't have access to a kitchen or a stove. We're gonna run with that theme today. So the meal that I'm preparing today is entirely done in a crock pot and an electric skillet. So I'm gonna create a rub for my lemon butter chicken. So I'm starting with lemon pepper. Here I'm adding like a tablespoon. Really the ratios are up to you. And if you don't have all of these seasonings and spices, just use some seasoned salt, salt, pepper, and a fresh lemon or just lemon pepper and salt and pepper, it all works. So I'm going in with some smoked paprika, some garlic powder. I'm also going to be adding onion powder and just give everything a good mix. Like I said, use your favorite spices and rubs for this. I'll put something in the description below for what I use today and the ratios are up to you. Okay, so now to prep the chicken, I've already rinsed it in cold water and I removed the chill. I had it setting on my countertop for about uh, 30 minutes or so. So what I'm gonna do is add half of a large lemon into the cavity of the chicken and sprinkle in some of that mix, that spice mix that we just created. And now I'm just gonna get my hands messy. I have four tablespoons of unsalted butter that's softened and right into the butter dish, I'm going to mix in some of this spice mix. I know this is ridiculous, but look, it's already dirty. So I'm just going to mix it in with my hands. And I'm sorry if this kind of like the sound kind of gets to you. Just, you know, fast forward. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is going under the skin where the chicken breast is at. And just going to kind of spread that underneath the skin and whatever's on my hand and left in the butter dish, I'm just gonna spread it all over the exterior of the chicken. By the way, tuck in those wings. Okay, so this is ready to put into my six quart or eight quart crock pot. Right in there, snug as a bug. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just add some of the rub. And actually I was sprinkling this on and I realized I still have half of that fresh lemon. So I'm gonna take this squeeze all the lemon juice onto the exterior of the chicken. And then I'm just gonna continue with the rest of that spice mix that I created. And I'm just gonna leave this right into the crock pot. So here we are, sprinkling the exterior. You could do the backside, but it's all gonna sort of just mix and marry together as it cooks in the slow cooker. Okay, so you wanna make sure you plug this in because I have totally done that before where I forget to plug it in. Add the lid, and I'm cooking this on high for about four hours. This is a four and a half pound whole chicken, so four hours should do the trick. Okay, so after about four hours, uh, again, cook time always varies, especially if you're working with a cold chicken, it'll take longer. But this is cooked, and it smells and looks amazing. See how the chicken breast kind of split? I probably could have stop this around three and a half hours, but I wanted to make sure everything was cooked, so I did four. So I'm gonna sprinkle it with dried parsley. I don't know, use fresh parsley if you got it. And then all of that rendered juice, fat, and butter, just uh, so wonderful. So while the chicken is resting, I'm gonna create this Mexican rice in an electric skillet. So I have one and a half cups of rinsed long grain rice going into a preheated skillet with some cooking oil. And I'm gonna toast this until it becomes aromatic, fragrant, and gets like a light golden color. And now I'm gonna go in with some dry seasonings, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of ground cumin powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, clearly I'm eyeballing this by the way, and some cracked black pepper. I'm gonna shake in a tablespoon and a half of chicken bouillon powder, give that a mix. You don't wanna burn the dry spices, but warming them through really makes this fragrant and aromatic. So now I'm gonna pour in eight ounces of tomato sauce. And if you don't have tomato sauce, you can do like two tablespoons or so of tomato paste, or you can just use the tomato chicken bouillon powder like I did in one of my last videos. Okay, so I'm gonna add three cups of water. I'm gonna kind of rinse out this 
can of tomato sauce to get any residual tomato sauce back into the pan. Okay, and now I'm going to just quickly mix and combine this. And shout out to my cousin. Uh, she also lives in a room and really doesn't have access to a stove or kitchen, so she asked for Mexican rice in an electric skillet. So I'm going to add some fresh corn right into the pan. By the way, if you want to skip the corn, you could just to add maybe a cup or two of frozen veggies. I would suggest if you're using frozen veggies, kind of give it a rinse under cold water so it sort of doesn't go into the pan too frozen. But yeah, that also works. Okay, so I'm going to cover with a lid. And then once this comes up to boil or simmer, I'm going to lower the heat and let it cook for 15 to 18 minutes. Don't lift the lid. So I want to show you how soft and tender this chicken comes out. I'm really not cutting this. It's almost like just pushing the pieces apart. That's how tender this crock pot chicken comes out. It's just, oh, and let me show you. I have to have a wing, but look how fall off the bone this is. So I'm going to go ahead and serve some chicken on a plate. So my rice is done and I let it set for 10 minutes, but now I'm going to lift the lid and look at this. Uh, can't wait to dig in. And the fresh corn comes out perfect, perfectly cooked. And don't worry if there's a little bit of scorching or fond at the bottom of the pan. It's still going to be edible. It's still good. So I'm going to serve this plate and it's time to dig in. So if you find yourself in a situation where you do not have a kitchen, I have some people um, that I know of that sort of work out of state and they kind of live out of like rooms or motels. So this is another like dinner idea you can sort of do in your motel if you don't have a kitchen. But it's a hot meal, it's hearty, and it kind of beats fast food or things that are more processed. So, you know, give it a try and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos that you can make without a kitchen or a stove. But this, this is going to be good eats today. By the way, if you want to check out that other skillet casserole recipe that I did recently, I will put a link in the description below. But in the meantime, I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.